السلام عليكم أعزائي طلبة المرحلة الثانية أتمنى أن تكونوا بخير باسمه تعالى نبدأ المحاضرة الرابعة Physiology of GI Tract وهي تكملة للمحاضرة الثالثة Secretory Function of the Elementary Tract Bacterias is a large compound gland It is similar to the salivary gland It secretes the digestive enzyme and large volume of sodium bicarb As you know, the major types of food is protein, carbohydrate, and fat. So the pancreatic secretion is directed mainly toward protein, carbohydrate, and fat. We have pancreatic enzyme for digesting protein, which are trypsin, chemotrypsin, and carboxypolypeptidase. Asma enzymat al Trypsin and chemotrypsin will digest the protein into simple form, but not the simplest form of amino acid. The last step will occur in the small intestine. But carboxypolypeptidase can split the peptide into simple form of amino acid. بصورة عامة أنزيمات هضم البنكرياس تربسين كوموتربسين تحول البروتين إلى مواد أبسط لكن ليس لأمينو أسد فتعتبر عملية الوسطى intermediate stage لكن المرحلة النهائية لتحويلها إلى أمينو أسد تتم في الأمعاء الدقيقة The main enzyme for fat digestion are pancreatic lipase, cholesterol esterase, phospholipase The main enzyme For digesting carbohydrate is pancreatic amylase. Samina pancreatic amylase because we have another amylase, as you remember, is alpha amylase or salivary amylase. Here, this amylase can convert the carbohydrate, the starch, into simple form, but not the simplest one. And the simplest one can be reached by small intestine enzyme فأيضا تعتبر عملية وسطى خطوة وسطى والخطوة النهائية راح تكون في الأمعاء الدقيقة The main important secretion of pancreas is secretion of bicarb ion and water It is so important in neutralizing the high hydrochloric acid coming from the stomach مهم جدا في معادلة الحامضية العالية القادمة من المعدة It will help to protect the duodenum and small intestine by buffering the high acidity of the stomach فبالنتيجة يحافظ على الاثنى عشر والأمعاء من حامضية عالية للمعدة قادمة من المعدة The main stimuli for pancreatic secretion are acetylcholine, cholecystokinin, and secretin. Here, this figure is just for illustration. هذا الشكل اللي يضاح فقط showing the hepatobiliary drainage, showing the liver, anatomy, gallbladder, and ducts. The liver is secrete, secreting bile mainly. The liver will secrete bile and it will be stored in the gallbladder. يتم فرز المادة الصفراء من الكبد ويتم خزنها في المرارة. The bile is so important, has two important function. First, it will help in digestion and absorption of fat. How? By emulsifying large fat particles into simple particles and will facilitate to be attacked by lipase enzyme فالمادة الصفاء الهم أهمية كبيرة في عملية هضم وامتصاص الدهون بواسطة استحلاب الدهون إلى مواد أبسط <تصفيق> لتسهيل هضمها بأنزيمات الهضم In addition, it will help in the absorption of digested food. While the second function of bile, it will help to excrete 
سوري تو اكسكريت ذا ويست برودكت تتخلص من الفضلات لايك بيليروبين اند كوليسترول here this figure just for illustration showing the gallbladder so gallbladder will store the bile coming from the liver here it will be concentrated هنا راح يتم تركيز البايل before it will be secreted it will be secreted through the duct into the duodenum and it will be secreted when it is needed when there is a fat there will be a secretion of bile so bile is produced continuously collected in the gallbladder and secreted in response to cholecystokinin and it is secreted into the duodenum other function of the liver other than bile secretion is blood glucose regulation, amelia tanzim sukkah, synthesis and storage of amino acid, protein, vitamin and fat, detoxification, tahalus min sumum, blood circulation and filtration. Other investment very matlu. But <coughs> you will find this question in the exam. Enumerate the liver function. What are the liver function? So antibiotic circulation will help in excretion of the waste absorption of nutrient mixing of kind here this figure is just for illustration showing you the uh, formation of a stone the stone can be formed in the gallbladder itself in any place in the duct hepatic duct cystic duct and uh, common bile duct so anywhere you can find the stone why the gallstone will be formed either there is too much absorption of water from bile or too much absorption of bile from bile acid from the bile too much cholesterol in the bile or inflammation of the epithelium what are the causes of gallstone reaching the small intestine the small intestine Initial part is the duodenum. الاثني عشر. So the duodenum will secrete large amount of alkaline mucus. Again, alkaline to buffer the high acidity coming from stomach. What are the secretion? It is mainly mucus. While other secretion is drained into the duodenum. We have pancreatic juice drained into the duodenum. We have bile coming synthesized in the liver and coming from the gallbladder. So the duodenum will secrete only alkaline mucus. These juices will help to change the pH, decrease the viscosity, increase lipid solubility, protect the duodenum from stomach content, continue digestion, and prepare for absorption. Reaching the small intestine. Small intestine, if you remember, we have this figure, the small villi. We have the villi and the crypt. Villi and we have a crypt, al -ikhdud. So a crypt here is responsible mainly for secretion of water and electrolyte and the mucus. While villi here, the bruzat, we have enterocyte, هذه الخلايا enterocyte, which are mainly responsible for secretion of digestive enzyme. Again, here the digestive enzyme is directed toward the major type of food which is protein carbohydrate and fat we have peptidase directed toward the protein so here the last step of digestion will occur to convert the protein into amino acid and digestive enzyme against carbohydrate we have sucrase maltase isomaltase and lactase to split the 
disaccharide into last step which is monosaccharide and we have intestinal lipase to convert into the fat into last step which is fatty acid so here the last step will occur in the small intestine to prepare this item of amino acid monosaccharide and fatty acid to prepare them for absorption in the small intestine حتى تهيئهم لعملية الامتصاص في الامعاء الدقيقة and at the end in the colon what are the secretion in the colon here the digestion process and absorption and in the terminal ileum of small intestine عملية الهضم والامتصاص انتهت في الامعاء الدقيقة so the colon there is no more digestion process لا توجد عملية هضم the colon is fluid absorber will absorb the remaining fluid in the colon رح يمتص الاشياء الباقية من السوائل من المياه water absorber and it will secrete mucus only for lubricating the solid stool and thank you so much